Hi. Midnight construction. Fighting couples. Loving couples. The laughter of children. The tears of a clown. Tap dancing toddlers. Someone else's music. Choir practice. Barking dogs. Excruciating exorcisms, raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens. Hell, hell, Satan, Jesus. Beer pong, beer pong, beer pong. Screams of existential dread and longing for something more. The first thing I do is I turn the radio on, I turn the radio up. Hello and welcome to the year 2007. I'm YouTube sensation, Valine Dream, and I'm here to tell you a life skill that I made up myself. It's a DIY hack that you really can't go wrong with. So let's get into it. Now, if you have been living, you know that it's virtually impossible to avoid the invasion of noisy noisemakers these days. I'm too broke, or I should say deliciously frugal, to get one of those white noise machines. And would I even be satisfied with one, really? But I found that lots of household items make noise. You could try a box fan, but it's not always a good time to get blown on. But currently, I sense it's a good time for me to show you my DIY white noise hack. If you don't have a radio, then this won't work for you. But everyone has a radio, right? <laughs> It doesn't really work on AM. You gotta put it on FM. Like this. You turn it on and you just turn the dial until you find the most vacant frequency. You don't want any trace of other stations coming in there and giving you weird dreams when you're asleep. I learned a long time ago that the radio is a great thing to sleep to because it never ends. It never ends. It's always going. I also believe that static sounds like the ocean. The best part is you can turn it up really loud. And no one will notice because it's white noise. The chapel. 